So uh, let's talk about some practical issues. Um, when you do nearest neighbors, you will sometimes get ties. So that's getting to your question. Uh, so the ties is you've computed your neighborhood, and in that neighborhood you happen to have an equal number of positives and negatives. So what do you do in that case? Well, so um, if you only have two classes, then you could just use the odd number of neighbors, and this would never happen. But of course, if you have, if you have more than two classes, then this will happen. Uh, so you need to break ties. Uh, there are several strategies for breaking ties. So you could either do it randomly, flip a coin to decide whether it's positive or negative, uh, which one of the tied classes it is. Uh, you could use a prior, right? So if it has equal number of reds and blues, well, are reds or blues dominant in the entire data set? Uh, use that decision. Uh, or you could always uh, fall back to one nearest neighbor classifier because that doesn't have uh, ties. So in practice, there is some difference in performance between these things, uh, but it's not, it's not as much as, uh, as you would expect. Um, another big issue in, uh, in nearest neighbor classifiers is missing values. Right? So um, if in your representation you don't know the value for some attribute, you have to fill it in. Right. There is no other way. Uh, we can't pretend that we're naive Bayes. Remember, remember naive Bayes. It handles missing values beautifully. It just says, they're not there. OK, I'm not going to include them in the product. You can't do that here. And uh, you can't treat them like decision tree would. A decision tree would basically skip over that as well when it's picking a threshold. Um, so uh, you have to fill them in because you have to compute distances. Right. And um, so when you're trying to fill it in, the strategy that you want to use is you want to perturb the distances as little as possible. So one reasonable choice is you pick the average value uh, across, the, uh, across the entire data set and use that instead of the missing value. So that has some really bad downsides, but so does every other imputation strategy. So uh, you have to do something, so it's a reasonable uh, choice to just use the average.